Yeah, thank you so much for having me here today and um, I was just really happy to get the invitation and really excited to be here but a bit apprehensive because, you know, Duncan, you say you're not an expert on hen harriers <laughs> but you probably know a lot more than me though it has been a steep learning curve for me this year. Um, as Duncan said, I represent Angus North in the Mern, so that takes in Brecon Metro's Forth and up the coast to Stonehaven, and also takes in some of the Angus Glens, which were name checked earlier as one of the particularly uh, bad spots that we have for, for hen harriers at the moment. So it's apprehensive as a, I was a bit about coming today, just in my lack of knowledge, and there's a lot more experts here than me. I think it's, uh, that's why I feel that my role as species champion is particularly important and when it came to choosing a species that's why I thought the hen harrier uh, that that was the one that I, I didn't really feel like I had much of a choice because I think that's a species that needs to be uh, represented and we need to be doing more uh, for it and like I say I live in one of the areas that uh, is affected and it's a bird that I still haven't even seen yet um, so that's one thing I would say to you that if anybody is going on trips or they plan to, to visit one if you don't mind me tagging along then please let me know and get in touch because it is a bird that I'm desperately keen to see but in terms of the, the species champion initiative uh, that's run by Scottish Environment Link and I think at the moment we have 90 MSPs out of the Scottish Parliament have signed up to this and it's not just um, uh, raptors in particular, it covers a whole range of endangered species in Scotland, from trees, insects, uh, there's a whole range. I don't know what yours is, Alexander, or yours, Andy, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've all signed up. Yeah, um, And I do think it is a really important initiative because it's about taking these species and doing what you can to promote and raise the profile of that in Parliament. And it's certainly something that has given me certainly more focus in terms of wildlife crime. For example, I sit on the Justice Committee and we took evidence that it was Ian Thompson that actually came along and gave evidence at that committee about wildlife crime, uh, which we then which I then used in a speech later on when we were discussing the Crown Office. And it is, it's just raising the profile, highlighting these things and highlighting how important it is that we do something about it. And I think when Ian gave evidence to the committee, the statistics for wildlife crime are just shocking. I think it was something between 10 and 15% of crimes that are reported uh, are actually prosecuted in the end. And I think we've had the high profile cases recently, the hen harrier shitting on the Cabrick estate, where we saw the evidence that was disregarded and wasn't taken into consideration, and how a crime like that, which is so blatant, yet no action is taken as a result of it. And that's the kind of thing that we really have to, to try and do something about. Um, so that's where I see my role as being really important, to take every opportunity that I can to highlight the hen harrier, to put a focus on that species and to do what I can because I want to see hen harriers in Angus. I don't want to live in an area where we don't have that species of bird which is native to that area and that's what's important and I want to see that species thrive. So it's about cracking down on the illegal persecution of the birds and doing what we can to protect the species that are native to, native to Scotland. So I'll certainly be doing everything I can in that role. But thank you all so much for the work that you do and um, as Duncan said, it's people power. You can have an influence and keeping that pressure on uh, is, is vitally important. And Duncan also mentioned the satellite tagging report. I think there are some very important recommendations in that and it'll be a really, I think that'll be interesting to see what develops as a result of that. But I think that that is definitely a step in the right direction and we'll have to monitor what happens there. But I'm really looking forward to the rest of the, the day today and to speaking and chatting with some of you. And again, if anybody wants to invite me on a trip, I'm more than happy to go. So thank you very much.